Hi everybody, here I am back with my Bork engine, a 30 cubic inch, half liter, circa 1954. Uh, maybe you've seen some of the prior videos, but I've managed to get uh, these engines back up and going again. Now, I've got a better test stand. We're going to see if we can get some real performance out of them. All the guys that say that Bork's ideas uh, of primary balance is going to cause a, uh, is not in primary balance, uh, they're wrong. They're discounting the fact that uh, kinetic pulse figures into this equation too. But anyway, I've proved to myself and probably quite a few other people that Bork's idea on the primary balance is correct. His idea of detonating the fuel to get an extremely low exhaust gas temperature because of the thermodynamics involved in it, uh, that's correct. He's also talked about super lean mixtures, and it appears so far it's very stingy on fuel. That's correct. He was right about the low emissions, no carbon monoxide, and only 80 parts per, mil per million uh, unburned. Uh, without catalytic converter. So everything so far seems to uh, indicate that Bork, uh, Russell Bork, the inventor, he was really, really put down in uh, some magazine articles and Hot Rod magazine and stuff like that. I've been studying this for years. And part of this whole deal is I want to see the silly things run the way he described them. And I want to see if everything is uh, as he said. And uh, so far, I got to agree with the guy. Uh, there's been some questions about whether the big bronze roller down there is going to survive or not. And because it's a, uh, a Scottish yoke, it's a roller cam. But if you do a little investigating, you'll find out that roller cams are used in a huge number of applications. And it, my uh, guess is correct. If the roller cam is suitable for the loads applied, it should survive. And plus a lot of these guys to discount the fact that Russ Bork was the one who came up with the uh, triple slipper bearing. And there's his name right on these castings. This is an original. And I don't know if this is going to pick up the serial number or not. I'll have to view that and see how that comes out. And there it is again. And he built quality in them because these castings are 1953 and they look great and they survived all that time. So I'm trying to put together a little test stand here. I got a Yanmar radiator from a company called Surplus Center and uh, really, really, really good deal. Had a lot of parts I could use in there for it. There's the expansion tank. Maybe hard to see down in here with this light, but. I've got all the uh, battery connections and everything ready to go with the fuses for the uh, electric water pump and maybe I can get it right in here and this is a Davies Craig pump from Australia and I'm happy to have that because uh, it appears to be a very nice item although at the moment let me see what I might go ahead and just hook up this uh, terminal and get some stuff going on here. Sorry for the mishandling the camera. But with the Davies Craig pump, you can hear the pump kicked on, I am getting my power flashes, but that will stop in about two minutes. And my lowest 75 degree centigrade is flashing. And the lights next to it are red, number two, three, four, and five. Oh, excuse me, they're um, amber. I don't know if the color's going to show up good. But in other words, there's a, something wrong going on here in the test circuit. And the little LED test light is lit up too. And I can track it back as far as to an under temperature, believe it or not. So I'm going to have to email them or see if I can phone to Australia and talk to one of their reps and we'll get that squared away. Uh, right now the newer features involve uh, better instrumentation right here. 
we got these nifty little digital gauges that's going to be for the EGT that one right now is in centigrade and we have the new exhaust stacks which are really super and in them you can see the wells for the probes and that means we'll have both uh, both sides uh, well EGT'd in a shrouded hole so we don't have people criticize uh, you're too far away or the temperature or blah 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 we'll get a really good reading and on the front here I got two more of them you can see ambient right now is uh, 52.1 see what the other side agrees if that agrees with it and it's 52.52.3 so they're pretty close and anyway this is all routed back to the radiator and uh, there's a shutoff valve right there and I thought that the water was going to flow back from the cylinders and flood the radiator lo and behold stays right in the cylinders so it can take the top off the radiator even though the engine is higher and uh, voila there it is bubbling around in there I've got plenty of good circulation get rid of all the bubbles well, you can hear it zinging away. So as soon as I get this squared away with a Davies Craig controller, um, this engine's ready to go. This one has got a nice new set of pistons, have been run already. Uh, on the connecting rods, we have a new set of seals specifically designed for this application. Uh, we're privy to some stuff that Bork wasn't, evidently. And uh, we've gone with a different type of seal. And this was engineered specially for... Uh, Bob and uh, work engine project. So we're going to have those in there. And um, this one has a brand new uh, roller cam. It's actually a crank, but with the bearing on it, it's a roller cam, reverse roller cam. And that was supplied by a very well known company in the United States, a uh, very well known manufacturing company for engine parts. And uh, if they see this, uh, you want to make sure I thank them because they're making this all possible. I know it's taken a long time, but uh, these engines may be simple, but when it comes down to it, you start getting into the nitty-gritty. Any engine, any engine can be uh, a handful. Well, anyway, uh, that's enough uh, jabbing about my Bork engine project for now, but with any luck, I'm going to have it up and going. And uh, the next addition is going to be the electronic ignition and the mini squirt fuel injection. So let's hope the cooling system stands up so I can be back for the next one. You have yourself a nice day. Take care.